2022 is an important year to all leaders and managers. Your world will drastically change, and if you don't adapt, your value to your company will drop significantly. I'll walk you through five pillars in this video though that will have you and your team thriving in 2022. My name is Johan Peterson and today I'll walk you through the essential skills that you as a leader will have to master in 2022. The world is changing as we come out of the pandemic. If you don't adapt your leadership, you'll definitely see your effectiveness drop in 2022. 2022 will see more radical change for leaders and managers around the globe than ever before. Leaders right now are operating on a glass floor of unprecedented uncertainty. I've put together a list of five pillars that you as a leader should start focusing on today if you want to remain effective and respected as a leader. As some of your team members come back to the office full time, some remain remote and the majority remain a hybrid of those two. The five pillars of this video will create a strong foundation for you. It will keep your teams effective, engaged and happy. The five pillars we'll talk about today is trust, clarity, empathy, inclusion and purpose. Let's dive in and talk more about each of them to give you an idea what to focus on. Trust. As pre-pandemic, for a leader, trust needs to come before anything else. Why, you ask? Because whether people are on-site, hybrid or remote, their basic need of security and predictability remains the same. Stress has also become a bigger factor than ever with this new way of working. And according to a recent study by Accenture, people who work in high trust environments experience 74% less stress. Earning trust and credibility will be harder than ever with hybrid teams. There are a few areas that you will want to work extra hard at and maybe rethink your approach to because you likely can't keep doing what you're doing today. The two things you want to do slightly differently and crank up to 11 are communication and freedom. Communication will be more important than ever in 2022 and how you communicate to your team is going to be essential. Over communicating through multiple channels is going to be required to make sure that your on-site, your hybrid and your remote colleagues are all on the same page. Then making sure you follow up in one-on-ones to make sure the message is received correctly. And you'll want to work in open documents as much as possible to increase collaboration and transparency. You also want to give your team more freedom than ever to accomplish their goals. For hybrid teams to succeed, you as a leader need to set the direction, not give directions. Give your team a clearly defined box to work within with a timeline and a number of goals to hit along the way. Then you want to let them figure out how to get there. As long as they know what success looks like and why they're doing what they do, they will get there. If they don't, hold yourself accountable since you probably hired them. To some, this might feel uncomfortable at first, but you will utilize your team's unique abilities and you should see more innovative approaches. And by the way, Please hit that like button if you find value in this video. Clarity. While you should extend your team more trust and autonomy, you should also be crystal clear even if your decision is unpopular. Being clear is always the best thing for your team, leaving no ambiguity or uncertainty. When people know what's happening, they can make the best choices. Be clear on things like working hours and aim for consistency across the department and maybe even company. And you may want to introduce things like meeting days once or twice a week where everybody comes into the office to collaborate. If you do that though, you want to make sure that people only meetings on meeting days. Again, whatever works for your business. Going forward, if you're not doing this already, every single meeting needs a clear goal and a clear agenda. With increased video call fatigue, this is more important than ever before. So train your team in having effective, inclusive and digital first meetings. Be clear on what systems and platforms you use. Make sure everybody knows how to use them and then be consistent. Too many will deter from the clarity that you're trying to achieve. When defining these new ways of working, Start from a clean sheet and don't base it on the old ways of working. Empathy. Empathy, the ability to understand other people's feelings, whether you've gone through their struggles or not, is one of the most sought after skills in tomorrow's leaders. Not surprisingly, since it will build a more healthy and productive workplace. Empathy has always been important to great leaders, but a few things you want to focus a little bit extra on in 2022 are these. Check in with people more frequently. Really get to know them and care enough to really sense when something is not okay with them, even if they're not telling you. Ask for feedback 
more often. Make a habit out of asking, if you were me, what would you do differently? Allow your team flexible work conditions. Let the team members work on their schedule as much as possible. Work with your remote and hybrid team members to build a great working from home environment. That's ergonomic. Be more intentional than you've ever been before about making people feel seen. Try to find new ways of rewarding and complimenting your team members. With team members not being on the same hours and maybe in different time zones, make sure you rotate meeting times. Check in with people frequently how the meetings work for them and constantly adapt. Make a big effort to protect the work-life balance of your team members. With team members not being on the same working hours and maybe even in different time zones, make sure you rotate meeting times and check in with people frequently about the meetings. Then keep forever adapting. Inclusion. Inclusion has never been more important than in 2022. And let me tell you why. In many cultures, the reason people don't want to go back to the office post pandemic is that the offices weren't inclusive workplaces. We have a once in a lifetime opportunity now coming back to offices in 2022 to rebuild cultures. This will be important not only to avoid high attrition, but also to remain effective. If you're in a bigger company, you likely have employee resource groups. Work with these ERGs to understand how you can help creating a better culture coming back to the office. If you're in a smaller company, have an open and safe dialogue on how you can improve. Purpose. If you thought purpose was important in the past, it will explode into new levels of importance in 2022. Research from Humu shows that people who don't understand how their work contributes to the company mission are 630% more likely to quit. People need to understand why they're doing what they're doing more than ever before. Every project and every task needs to be connected to the mission. As a leader, you need to tie the work of your teams back to the bigger picture of how what they do matters. So be clear on the why and the impact of everything your team does. If you take these five pillars, trust, clarity, empathy, inclusion, and purpose to heart, you can keep your team effectiveness and engagement high as we move into uncharted territory in 2022. Remember to keep trying things, failing some, learning, and then constantly adapting. If you also want ideas on how to make remote work fun, I leave a link down in the description to a video that I made earlier. It will give you a number of ideas on how you can help your team have more fun while working remotely. I create videos on a weekly basis that will keep adding value to your life and your career. Consider subscribing if you want to grow your career and be happier at work. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you all next week. Bye.